Today, members of the McFarland Police Force left for Washington, D.C. to honor a fallen brother in blue. Officer Ryan Copeland was killed in the line of duty on his way to pick up his canine partner, Boris. Almost six months later, Ryan's widow and Boris's new handler open up about a man who meant much more than his badge. Danica Lewis shares their stories tonight, only on News 3 at 10. It's almost like he's here, but he's not. Tucked away in her new home, Amanda Copeland decorated, dedicated, a room to Ryan. His honors, his desk mate, his artwork safely on display. Just in case, so. <laughs> Just in case. I still sometimes in my heart feel like he's going to walk through that door, and I know he's not going to, so it's hard. <laughs> Amanda is used to her husband being gone after a decade of deployments. He was gone quite a bit, but he loved his job. She learned how to live alone. Just having that brotherhood with people. But she could always pick up the phone. He had the most contagious laugh in the world. And hear her high school sweetheart. I will never forget that. I hope I never forget it. <laughs> a former Green Beret, Ryan was a perfectionist who lived for his work and his wife. He was perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. A committed golfer who loved to hunt. He had just come home the night before from hunting, before everything happens. That's any other day. Before picking up his partner, Ryan was teasing his wife through text. He just sent me a little smiley face, and that was the last I heard from him. A truck crossed the center line, slamming into Ryan's squad car. For everything that he's been through and all the tours that he has survived and um, being a police officer, um, this is not how I thought anything would happen at all. Ryan, we wish you Godspeed as you report to your final assignment. Never, ever, ever imagined it, ever. <laughs> Neither could she imagine how many lives his short life touched. That's the kind of person Ryan would. He was. He'd go above and beyond to help anybody. So it was only fitting for 20 cars and thralls of people to help lay Ryan to rest. It was very overwhelming, but it was very heartfelt, too. I'm... It was amazing. <laughs> that would be the last thing you'd think would happen, is it going to be a car accident. But when a life is lost, life also goes on. He wanted everybody to be, to be the best. Go boy. Before taking on Boris, Ryan's old partner, okay. Officer Jeremy Job worked alongside the pair almost every shift. He always laughed and smiled, and I think that was it's probably one of the hardest things. He was a, uh, he could really uplift you, even if you're having a bad day, so leave it. It reminds me of, you know, who's not here, who should be here. That's probably the hardest part. Come here. But the department decided the three-year-old pup needed to work, if not for Boris, then for Ryan. Knowing that the dog is, that Boris is still working and, and continuing to do what he should be doing, I think that's a huge, huge respect thing for Ryan. Okay. He's so happy, and that's, that's all Ryan would have wanted. He's a big puppy. Next to shots of Ryan and Boris. Good. The shots from a 21-gun salute sit solemnly on the shelf. But perhaps the most meaningful piece of memorabilia, Ryan's own words he wrote in the Special Forces. Unwavering strength, devotion, and love, I owe everything to my wife. She is my heart, and her heart, no doubt, still belongs to him. He was my best friend. I mean, he's still my best friend. Finding the strength to smile. He always wanted me to be happy. Even though she'll only see his frozen in a frame. And I just want people to go out there every day and live it like it's their last, because that's what he did. Danica Lewis, WISC News 3. Well, Amanda says she sees Boris every month or so, and while she misses him, she knows he needed to keep serving on the force. Uh, McFarland's force is working on a memorial at the station there for Ryan. And along with being added to the National Law Enforcement Memorial, Ryan's name will be added to Wisconsin's memorial next week.